This is an upper body workout that I give to my clients with frozen shoulder. Hi, I'm Ashley, a licensed massage therapist here in Pennsylvania, and I specialize in chronic pain and autoimmune conditions. Something I deal with a lot happens to be frozen shoulder. So let's get started. We're gonna use the easiest resistance band that you have, and you're gonna take the non-affected side and roll that up. And then we're gonna take the affected side, which is the right, and we're gonna roll that up. Make sure that there's good amount of tension. You want that tension. The next one, we're gonna have our elbow close into our side here. The elbow should not move at all. And all I'm doing is externally rotating the arm here. So the elbow isn't moving. I'm not doing anything with my upper part of the arm. I'm literally just moving my arm out in an external rotation. So all I'm doing for the next one is going straight back. Um, it actually might feel better to do it palm facing up for this exercise. So I'm just moving the little front part, the flappy end there in front of me. My palm is facing forward and I'm just going straight back. The next one is to the side. Same idea, palms facing backwards on this one though but we're just going straight out to the side here. All right, this one is going back diagonally and we're getting the whole entirety of the rotator cuff with these. Now, when I go forward, it's not the exercise. I just wanna show you that I'm not going further than my shoulders. You are going underneath the shoulders for all of those exercises. You don't need to go too high. This next exercise, we're going to use our feet to anchor this. I'm just gonna move back a tiny bit so you can see my feet. And for this one, we're doing a bicep curl. So you do wanna get a good amount of resistance for this one. And you can even use um, a different resistance band if you want more resistance, but this is the only one I recommend more resistance for at least to start. The next one we're doing is similar to what we did before, um, after the bicep curl, we do bicep, bicep. And then this one, we're going straight out to the side, but check it out, my arm isn't straight. See, it's like, it's a little bent right in this area. That's what you want. And again, I'm not going that much higher than my shoulders. The other set, you're going under your shoulder height. This one, you're going just at your shoulder height. Right there. And again, I still have that bend in my elbow. If you need to, get a little bit more resistance. I even grabbed, <laughs> I've recruited my other foot for this and I'm going straight back. This is for the triceps. I'm going straight back. Not really much else to this one. Similar as all the rest. I try to keep it pretty cohesive and simple. Again, I will send you all of the details, but you're doing 30 each of each exercise. The next one is going to be a W. You just wanna make sure this is real tight right here. You want the resistance to be really good. Now I'm keeping my elbows tight to my body and all I'm doing is squeezing my shoulder blades. I'm keeping this about chest height, little above chest height, but my hands are not going above my shoulders. This one, all you're doing is squeezing the shoulder blades. I will send all of you your own individual how many, all that good stuff. I hope this helps.